Saint An Angela Marici lived uh, in, uh, born in 1474. Um, lived during the Protestant Revolution, uh, and uh, lived in the northern part of Italy in Lombardy, and uh, uh, was a very pious young girl, and was even known as a little saint as a child. Uh, at the age of 10, she was an orphan with her sister. They went to live with their uncle. And soon after, her sister died without the sacraments, and she was all worried about her sister's soul and kept praying for enlightenment, and it was revealed to her that her sister was already in heaven. At the age of 13, she joined the Franciscan order, a third, 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 order, third order of Franciscans, and she soon after renounced all her possessions, took a vow of <clears throat> chastity, and uh, uh, lived a life of austerity, slept on the bare ground, uh, would only eat bread and water most of the time, even lived off of the Eucharist for some days, um, and uh, decided to, um, she, she saw a lot of young girls who were not uh, educated, and it was a big problem in Italy that the girls were not <clears throat> educated properly, and so she decided to educate them, her, them herself, mostly teaching them uh, catechism, and she would bring them to her own house where she would educate them or go to their own, to their homes. Um, and uh, she met some other young ladies who helped her to do that. And she became famous for her holiness and uh, also for her infused knowledge. She even knew things that theologians didn't know. So she became very famous for her sanctity in this way. And she decided to leave her town and go to another town, Brescia, where she wasn't known. And uh, sometime after, went to, to uh, visit the Holy Land on her journeys to the Holy Land in Crete. She went blind. She still decided to continue on to the Holy Land, visited the holy places, and returned. And on her trip back uh, in the place in, in Crete, again, she gained her sight back, asking God for that favor. She went to Rome for during the, during the uh, uh, Jubilee year to gain the indulgences, and the Holy Father re detained her there, wanted her to start a school there for the girls, and, but later uh, allowed her to go back to Brescia, where she felt called to go and um, continued, continue her work. She founded the, uh, the uh, congregation of, of uh, St. Ursula uh, with about 28 other women, and they would uh, teach teach the young girls and try to uh, strengthen families that way by teaching young girls. And they also uh, helped, helped the poor and, and, uh, and, and took care of the sick. <clears throat> this was the first uh, religious order of women that was not cloistered. And they did public, public uh, this kind of public work. So she was a bit of a pioneer in this way. Um, and she died in 14... Uh, 1540, uh, and uh, was uh, canonized uh, a couple hundred years later.